Someone once said that God created humans because he loves stories. Jesus told stories so often in the Bible. One of the greatest stories he ever told was about his amazing love for us. You know, you often see pictures of Jesus with children gathered around him or maybe a group. And, and you know, although he was, you know, teaching them about the word of God, and, but, but he, also, he also told them stories. It has been said that 70% of the Bible are stories. They're accounts, they're parables, and we have stories just the same. You know, we have stories of the times that we knew when we knew that God was close to us, when we could feel his presence, when we could very evidently see his hand in our life. But we also have stories of the times that we weren't so sure he was anywhere close to us. We couldn't see them. We couldn't hear them. And so we have lots of different stories. And, you know, stories are passed down. Often, one of the elements of culture is that there are stories that are told from one generation to another. And they, they pass through time. And, you know, our family of origin also shapes our stories. And, you know, they... When we think back, when we look back over our lives and the stories we have from our childhood, sometimes they're really happy stories and they give you very warm feelings. And other times they may not be so happy and you may feel cold and you may wonder where God was in those stories. And so as we start to tell the stories of our lives, it's not always going to be easy it will be a challenge. But how many times have you looked back over your life and you've seen the hand of God in your life? Yeah, when you really start to think about it, you find the times that he was there. Often we must look behind us before we can look forward to move into the future and as the discussion begins, look back, open up, be transparent, tell your story. Because I can assure you, you will find the hand of God in every season. So now let's take some time and go into some discussion.